Hello and welcome to another one of those videos where I talk about updates on the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress coming from Toadie and Kit Fox. It's that day again and we have some new screenshots and this time it's of stockpiles. Thank you very much Victoria for sending me these images and let's dive right into it. So the screenshots that they've posted are kind of like a walkthrough of how the stockpile UI is going to work. When we look at this, we can immediately see kind of the parallels between this and the activity zone UI that they showed off a couple of weeks ago. I also have videos on that if you want to see that. But immediately we have the click in the play area to paint the stockpiles. So I'm assuming once you've hit the hotkey slash click the button, it's just going to give you that little top that pop up in the top left corner there, and then you can paint the stockpile to your liking. I know that we're no longer limited by the 31 tiles of the previous stockpile limit, which was the old limitations for whatever reason, which was rather annoying, but then all we would do is just simply overlap the stockpiles with stockpiles and stockpiles and stockpiles, and then things would just kind of work themselves out in the end. The next screenshot we here have here is the uh, selection of the type of stockpile. So once you've got your, your kind of design set up, I guess you hit accept in the top left, and then this UX pops up and you can kind of select what you want in it. So it's got the traditional, you know, you can set between sheets, cloth, coins, uh, corpses and all the other bits and pieces. I like the little skull and crossbones for corpses, although I like skulls. This is a known fact. Uh, and then there's the custom button. Now this UX is very much uh, locked to a grid. Tarn has talked about this in the past because he wants it to be able to work as an ASCII UI as well as a new modernized pretty clickable button UI for uh, people who like pretty clickable buttons. Uh, because we're not going to be supporting both of the UXs, this is confirmed. Uh, they need to work. This new UI needs to work for both. I, I, I quite like the way these images look. I like that they have like the nice big uh, kind of borders surrounding them. Everything is very clear. The font is readable. I kind of wish that the uh, actual text itself on these guys were a little bit bigger, but I we've talked about multiple text sizes and they are going to be supporting multiple font sizes, so uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I guess this is just going to be the default text size for this particular piece of UI. Now the next is a piece of UI that I might actually use quite a bit because it looks very convenient now. Currently, in order to set links between a, uh, um, a specific workshop and a specific pile, you have to kind of, it's, it's kind of finicky and hard to keep track of, and I generally forget what's linked to what, so I almost never use the feature. It's a very helpful feature for making very specific objects and putting specific gems on specific items and stuff like that, but actually having like this le nicely laid out in a list will probably be a lot easier. So this is where a specific workshop only takes items from a specific pile and th those kinds of automation techniques, which I, I currently don't use in the UI. So I'm very hopeful that this uh, UI will make using that feature a lot easier. And now the final screenshot that was released, which is for custom stockpiles. Now this is my favorite kind of stockpile that I use the most. Once again, we have this really nice searchable uh, options bar up in the top where you can just type in what object you want, which would be really nice. I hope that some of the more esoteric items get renamed or alternatively get tags put on them so that they're easier to find. I think tags is probably better now that I think about it. You know, things like a glass door being a portal instead of a glass door, stuff like that, which will, which obviously just makes searching for them very difficult. Like you could still call them a portal, but maybe have like a tag in the background or underneath it that just says glass door. Uh, Cause there are some esoteric items in Dwarf Fortress that kind of make no logical sense if you don't know what you're looking for. Uh, that being said, I quite like the colors here. Everything is very quick and easy to read. I think that the red and green is maybe a little bit intense, but that being said, uh, you know, nothing that we, we can't tweak later and maybe they'll give us options for different colors. Uh, everything is very readable. Um, I especially like the little uh, slidey bar on the left. I, I think that the little gems in the middle of it are a nice touch. Everything looks like it's of the highest quality, I guess I should say. I, I know they were saying that the UI makes it looks like it's made of wood. I personally think it looks like it's made of iron or gold or some other uh, alloy, and I, I really like it. I think that it's, it's very clean looking. Uh, if you have any feedback on the UI, I'd love to hear what you have to say. You know, there, there are times where I have a lot of criticism for these, especially in, like, you know, the, the corpses and the musical instruments posts I've done, but... 
then there's there's times where I just kind of say, yeah, this this looks really good, and I'm curious to actually play with it because that's how I'm going to really learn how I feel about these. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like more updates on this sort of stuff, there, there's more of this on this YouTube channel than you could ever reasonably find. I also have a uh, more uh, Dwarf Fortress VODs for my live streams on this channel than you could ever reasonably watch in a lifetime, and there's edited lore videos as well. So if you're interested in just more stuff, Dwarf Fortress, this YouTube channel is a good place to be, and thank you very much for watching. Also, humble brag here, take a look at this. Uh, my a, my crayon drawing from Tarn showed up, and uh, it now lives on my wall, and I'm very, very proud of it. Uh, also, if you would like to support me directly, you can do that over on patreon.com slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in my live streams on Twitch, and I'll see you in the next one.